Unusually, Target got its start because of a strange church fire and other bad things that happened to a church. Around the turn of the century, real estate tycoon George Dayton grabbed a golden chance out of the ashes. Since then, Target has become such a well-known brand that they can tell if a customer is pregnant even if her family doesn't know. In this video, you'll get to know how Target went from having one store to having about 2,000 stores and how 11 stores were opened in one day. The Dayton Company begins. The Westminster Presbyterian Church in downtown Minneapolis caught fire in 1895 during the economic crisis that began in 1893. The congregation persuaded active parishioner George Dayton to buy the vacant corner lot next to the old church and erect a six-story edifice there. In 1902, Dayton convinced the Reuben Simon Goodfellow Company to move its Goodfellows department store to the new building. The shop's founder retired and sold it to Dayton. By 1910, it was simply the Dayton Company. Despite his lack of retail experience and huge banker network, Dayton maintained the corporation as a family business, following strict Presbyterian beliefs. The shop stopped selling alcohol, advertised in periodicals without liquor promotions, and closed on Sundays. In 1918, Dayton donated $1 million to start the Dayton Foundation. By the 1920s, the Dayton Company was worth millions. After his eldest son, David, died at 43 in 1923, Dayton gave Nelson additional responsibilities in the family business. The department store survived the Great Depression after buying Minneapolis jeweler J.B. Hudson and son before the 1929 Wall Street crash. Nelson, Dayton's son, became president in 1938 and continued his father's conservative managerial style and strict Presbyterian ideals. The War Production Board scrap metal endeavor received Dayton's department store's electric sign. It was among the first American shops to offer retirement benefits in 1944 and health insurance in 1950. 5% of its taxable revenue has gone to the Dayton Foundation since 1946. Target shops reached $200 million in sales in 1970. In 1971, Dayton Hudson bought 16 Arlen's department stores in Colorado, Yoa, and Oklahoma. Two former stores became Target's the same year. Target's share of Dayton Hudson's $1 billion revenues was tiny. Target's national growth. Target rebranded Junko stores in 1987. To compete with Detroit-based Mart, the business opened six locations in Michigan and Nevada. Target now has 317 shops in 24 states, selling $5.3 billion. Bob Ulrich became Target's chairman and CEO after Bruce Albright became Dayton Hudson's president. Dart Group bought many of its shares in a hostile acquisition. In 1983, the Minnesota legislature approved six of Kenneth Mack's anti-takeover legislative changes during the summer session. On October 19, 1987, the stock market fall lowered Dayton Hudson shares to $28.75, foiling Dart's takeover attempt. Taxes reduced Dart's profits by $70 million. Target shops opened eight Washington and three Oregon shops in 1988, bringing its total to 341 outlets in 27 states. It built a Sacramento facility and an Indianapolis distribution hub. In 1989, the company opened 60 more stores, largely in Florida, Georgia, North Carolina, and South Carolina, bringing its total to 399 stores in 30 states with revenues of $7.51 billion. In 1992, they opened two everyday hero clothing stores in Minneapolis, which failed. Morona, their private label apparel line, competed with Gap. Target opened 11 Chicago branches on the same day in March 1993, matching Starbucks. This was the first time Walmart, Kmart, and Target competed in a large area. The flamboyant debut may have been a declaration of retail war. J.C. Penney Company, Incorporated offered $6.82 billion to buy Dayton Hudson, the fourth largest U.S. retailer in 1996. Dayton Hudson said it wanted to remain independent, but most experts thought the deal undervalued the company. In 1997, Target had 796 stores and made $20.2 billion. Both everyday hero locations are closed. Dayton Hudson acquired closed distributor Associated Merchandising Corporation and Minnesota Communications Group's Rivert-owned trading company in 1998. 
Target earns $23.0 billion from 851 locations. Dayton Hudson's revenue rose to $33.7 billion and net income to $1.14 billion, almost tripling 1996's $463 million. Target's success was largely due to Ulrich's promotion of high-quality, low-cost goods. On September 7, 1999, Target.com, the company's discount retailer, went online. The site sold unique products, including Michael Graves, when it began. Sales and Growth TD replaced Dayton Hudson Corporation in January 2000. Target stores accounted for 75% 80% of the company's sales and profits. Target created the Target Visa in response to customer preference for big financial institution cards over private label cards like the Target Guest Card. In preparation for its 2001 online gift registry, it planned to consolidate its premium department store division, which included 19 Dayton's, 21 Hudson's, and 24 Marshall Fields locations. The company announced in January that Dayton's and Hudson's would become Marshall Fields. Target has 1,053 shops in 47 states and generates $33.0 billion with the main purchase. Ulrich Center at Embassy Golf Links in Bangalore, Target launched a branch in Mysore, India. The company had 1,488 stores and $59.4 billion in revenue. CEO Bob Ulrich retired and nominated Greg Steinhoffel on January 9, 2008. Target's policy of retiring top executives at 65 drove Ulrich away. He resigned as CEO on May 1 but remained board chairman until the 2008 fiscal year. Guan was Target's first international location. Two shops opened in Alaska and two on Oahu simultaneously. Despite the recession, the media claimed huge crowds in great sales. Target is currently in every state but Vermont, thanks to Hawaii. Target pledged $1 billion to schools and education organizations by 2015 in June 2010. Target emphasizes library makeovers for underserved schools. Stronger competition from home improvement shops, Walmart, and independent garden centers forced Target to liquidate its remaining 262 garden centers in August 2010. Target introduced a fruit section nationwide in September 2010. Target's first food distribution center opened in Lake City, Florida, in 2008. In 2012, a company employee told the New York Times Magazine that shopping data analytics may detect pregnancy. Target Walt Disney Co. On August 25, 2019, the company revealed plans to create Disney stores in Target stores. Target's Disney store, Shop in Shop, averages 750 feet. True Kids in Target announced their partnership to create ToysRus.com on October 8, 2019. Target.com redirects ToysRus.com shoppers who wish to buy. Toys R Us's website boosts Target's toy sales after bankruptcy. On March 13, 2020, CEO Brian Cornell attended former President Trump's COVID-19 speech. Target, Walmart, CVS Pharmacy, and Walgreens want COVID-19 testing. On July 16, 2020, Target joined other big U.S. companies in requiring masks. After Toys R Us closed in 2016, Target opened at 1249 Simpson Avenue in Salt Lake City, Utah, replacing Nordstrom Rack. Target adds Mondo Llama, Favorite Day, and Kindful to its exclusive brands. Target also debut Ulta Beauty and strengthened its partnerships with Disney, Apple, and Levi Strauss and co-Target founder George Draper Dayton founded Dayton Dry Goods Company in 1962. Target Corp employs over 368,000 people in all 50 states and the District of Columbia and is one of the top 2,000 retailers in the world. That's it for today. Please like and share our videos. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon for regular updates. Thanks for watching.